Matthew 25 verses 14 to 28. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant, you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed? Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. So the bag of gold, so take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags, for whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that reminds and encourages us how to live. We are created in your image and likeness, filled with wonderful gifts and abilities. We are not living just to survive, but to thrive, adding value to the world. We are here with a divine purpose, and our goal should be to unearth the treasure within us, investing our time, energies, and focus to release these blessings. Help us not to live complacently, hopelessly, or impoverished lives, but to recognize within us lies gifts and abilities for us to identify and enhance so that our lives and others can be filled with blessings. We pray that we will never undervalue ourselves or others. Open the eyes of our understanding that it will be enlightened to recognize your power in us to do great things on earth. Continue to motivate and inspire us as we travel this land, placing our focus and values in the right direction so that at the end of our journey, you will say, well done, good and faithful servant. This we pray in Jesus' name, amen.